Hello and welcome. Today we'll see how we can write a Java program to check whether a given number is a super spy number or not. This question appeared in the latest ICSC computer application specimen paper. So according to the question, we have to define a class to accept a number and check whether it is a super spy number or not. A number is called super spy if the sum of the digits equals the number of the digits. Example, 1021. So 1021 is a super spy number because if you find the sum of the digits, you get 4. And the number of digits is also 4. As a result, it is a super spy number. Example 2, 125. When you find the sum of the digits, you get 8. But there are only 3 digits. So 125 is not a super spy number. So let's write a Java program to solve this question. So here I have created a file superspy.java. We import the scanner class. Then we create the class superspy, the main function. We create the scanner object. And we ask for the number from the user. So num equals integer dot percent in dot next line. Once we have taken the number, we need to find the sum of the digits of this number. So let's take a variable sum equals to 0 and we also need to count the number of digits so we can take a counter for that so count also equals to 0 now for i equals to the original number as long as i is not equal to 0 i keeps reducing itself by dividing itself by 10 and each time count plus plus and we also add the digit to the sum variable. How do we extract the digit? i modulus 10. So i starts with the original number and each time you do modulus 10, you get the last digit of the number. And then i keeps reducing itself by dividing itself by 10. When it is dividing itself by 10, it removes the last digit and that's how i keeps reducing itself. So each time we get a new last digit and that last digit gets added to sum and this keeps repeating as long as the number is not 0. Once this is done, we check if the sum is equal to the count. If so, this means that num is a super spy number else num is not a super spy number let's save our program and now check the output So if I give 1021, it is a super spy number. And if I give 125, it is not a super spy number. So I hope you have understood the program. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next class.